Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Morning Inspiration, Friday, December 29, 2023. I pray that you are having a wonderful morning. I pray that you are doing well. And I pray that as you go throughout the day, that the Lord will continue to bless you and continue to keep you. Our reading this morning comes to us from Galatians chapter 6 verses 1 to 10. It says, Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, he which are spiritual restore such one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself lest thou also be tempted. Verse 2 say, Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. If a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. Verse 4 says, But let every man prove his own work. And then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. Verse 5. For every man shall bear his own burden. 6 says. Let him that taught in the word. That is taught in the word. Communicate unto him that teacheth in all Good things. Seven said, Be not deceived, God is not mock, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. It says, For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. 9 says, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. 10 and last, As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the whole soul of faith. And I say, Amen. To God be the glory. Great things He has done. We give God thanks this morning for His word and we thank Him for the opportunity to share with others as He share and bless us. It says this morning that we are to be kind to one another. It says in verse 1 that if our brother or sister falters, then we should seek to restore that person. Help that person to get back up. Don't push them down further. But we should in kindness help them up and also be mindful lest we also be be tempted and drawn into in into sin right it says that we are to bear one another's burden right and so it says in the word of God also that we are to be our brother's keeper. So we are supposed to be looking out for each other. We are supposed to be kind to each other. The Lord expects us to watch each other's back, as, as you would say in colloquial terms. Right? It says, let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teach it in all things right we are to teach 
our practice what we preach. Right? We are to share the love of Christ as it is written in the word of God. God it says that is not an unwise God. And therefore, whatever he has instructed us to do, he knows that it would be a good thing for us. Right? And we are not to take God for granted. He says that we are not to be deceived because God is not mock. Right? So if we sow bad things, what will happen? We will read, reap bad things. And if we sow good things, so will we also reap good things. And so it pays to be good. It pays to be kind. It pays to be unselfish. And so as we continue to walk in the favor of God, let us also teach others and help others to walk in the favor of God. Right? And so let us be kind towards each other. Let us pray for each other. Let us encourage each other. Let us lift each other up. As we continue to walk this journey together. So that at the end of our journey. We can rejoice in the fact that we have successfully completed the race of life. God bless you. And God continue to keep you as you serve him.